case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a landmark ruling by the oregon supreme court in the 2011 case of state vs barger has provided a new perspective on what the law considers possession or control of digital sexual abuse imagery at the heart of the issue was whether accessing and intentionally viewing these images digitally would amount to their possession or control. The case was set in motion when law enforcement was alerted to the possibility of questionable material on a computer. The information came via the wife of the defendant, who willingly handed over their computer for inspection. Identifying digital images of exploitation in the temporary internet file cache, the police brought charges against the husband. The lower court originally ruled that this simple act of searching and viewing constituted possession or control, but the recent Supreme Court ruling disagreed with this interpretation. The justices argued that the act of simply viewing an image doesn't satisfy the requirements of possession or control as outlined in Statute ORS 163.686 LAAI. The apex court took a stand that the legislature's use of possesses and controls demands more than just digital access and viewing of these explicit images. The court stated that physical control alone does not equate to constructive possession and that viewing via a computer doesn't inherently imply control or ownership. This ruling led to the stunning reversal of the lower court's decisions. The Oregon Supreme Court not only overturned the circuit court's judgment, but also reversed the Court of Appeals' decision. The court finally remanded the case and directed the lower court to enter a judgment of acquittal for the defendant effectively signaling a landmark shift in the interpretation of digital possession. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.